Hey, good morning, good afternoon to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Hope you all had a very blessed Memorial Day. Happy Tuesday to you. Uh, we do have some updated information about the Gulf potential hurricane that is going to be coming. We've been looking at it a while and it is still trending to the same paths, guys. Now, we do have some storms that's going through the deep south right now, as well as the Bahamas headed towards Florida. And all this is about to really ramp up and be some heavy rainfall. Matter of fact, the two models I have for you today, the rainfall is right above my head. It shows you what's going to happen as far as this path as it goes over Cuba towards Florida. And the one on the very top is showing you the 10 meter winds. That way you can see the impacts of what this could be. And I'll go through all that for you. I am showing it will be a Cat 1 hurricane so far uh, as of this update. Up to 80 miles per hour, 82 maybe uh, winds. Now if you've never been here before, hello. <laughs> Good day to you. My name is Mark. I usually upload every single day, just not Friday from sundown, from Saturday to sundown. That's when I take my Sabbath. But thank you for joining the community. Hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss a video. As a matter of fact, last year we called seven or eight hurricanes almost a month ahead of time. And they were pretty accurate. Plus, if you've never been here, make sure you go to the end of the video after you see whatever it is you need to see. Hear the important message I have for you. If you scan through it, just look for the bright light. Now this right here, this is our velocity potential anomaly where we could have some updrafts. Or we could have some low millibar pressures where we got some strong storms coming in through our U.S. And if you look, we're up right around the west coast of the U.S., right around this 120W. Now, the 60W brings you right down by the Bahamas. And if you go a little bit further, it brings you right to the east coast and northeast of the U.S. And then you have the MDR region. And you can see the storm that we just had that is brushing away. Now, in order to understand what could be coming to our area, you have to understand this here, the velocity potential. And this right here is just the average. This is not just the only thing that is showing. If you look on the left, you'll see the dates that sometime around the 8th through the 11th, there's going to be a potential velocity anomaly, which could be a low millibar, strong system that could be coming to our country. We have another one late in June and then another one in the middle of July. Now, this is just showing the average of the ensembles, of what's showing on all the ensembles. Now, just to be fair, I want to show you all the ensembles that this is getting the average from. Because this does update daily. You'd be looking at it one day, it's like this. You look at it next day, it done blown up. Like it, it wasted the last minute to update. So let's look at all the ensembles. And I want you to look in between the 5th of June and right, below, right before the 15th of June. Right in this section. So look right in this section here. Right where these two anomalies will be. Okay. Where it's showing the potential. And I want you to see the difference just in this area here from 120W to low east of 60W. Just look in this general area so you can see everything that the computer's picking up as far as what the anomalies could be. And it is showing also on one of them that it gets really nasty towards the end of July. But as we go through all the ensembles, you can see in this section everything that it has to choose from, from the potential uh, strengths and chances of velocity anomalies that can come into our, our our system whether it's updraft whether it's going to be a strong system or a weak system this ensembles is where it gets its average from so people can tell what the averages are but if you look at the average of it the averages actually show that more more so than not that there is going to be if not one there's going to be multiple strong systems that could be coming within that time period now i'm talking about one that in the gulf plus one that could be on the southeast that's, that, that's why I want to explain this to you, that in the beginning, that was only showing you the average for all 50 ensembles. And that's what I just showed you. Which this also is a chance. This is a potential. It could change to this very quickly. And this is within that date. Matter of fact, expanded even further, but it's showing a lot of energy. As we check about eight days out, we can see what the potentials can be. And it all really starts off with another system starting off in the Pacific, just west of Central America. But after that, potentials become a little case on the southeast of the U.S. And this right here actually has been trending that something can come in and get bounced back out. Like the high pressure is going to expand out real strong and then it's going to weaken back and go back to the eastern side of the Atlantic and it's going to allow this to come back out into the Atlantic but until then it can get squeezed into a system 
towards the east coast at the same time if you keep going you do see that it has been trending the same thing that we've been looking at for a couple of weeks now that this has a good chance for something to grow into the gulf you know whether it rides up florida and goes to the coast or whether it goes towards louisiana and towards texas we still need to keep updating this but it is trending that something can go straight towards florida and something can also come right towards the Yucatan, which we've been seeing ever since May 12th, and actually curve to the west because of high pressure expanding out, pushing it more west to either Louisiana or Texas. And when we look at the ensembles to see what the chances are, what the growth potential is, for anything to happen into our Gulf as far as, far as the 30 perturbed members, you can see that it does trend uh, very highly. Not only the strength changes, but it does trend that we get a system right off the edge of the Yucatan somewhere. And this will spur up into something big, either for the uh, Gulf of Mexico going towards Texas or Florida or going towards Louisiana. Now, that's been showing a few times as well. And this one right here is actually on its way curving towards Texas. But this one showing Florida has been showing ever since the 12th. We saw some energy over the Yucatan. And we saw some energy over Cuba that showed that it could go towards Florida and come out by South Carolina as a strong system to the Atlantic. So we have a few potentials to look at. A lot of this is still the same information that we've been finding. It's been showing over and over. It's not going away. Now, as we look towards our velocity potential to see what our relative vorticity is in the Caribbeans, we do see that around the 10th literally eight nine days away it gets strong enough to where it gets picked up as some good vorticity and it does grow in the caribbean and not only one section but it's actually a, a chance for a second section to spin off into a possible another low pressure system even a, a third if you notice we have at the same time we have three chances for vorticities to come into the caribbean and to the tropics it does expand out it does get real strong go towards cuba then it goes towards florida and if we follow it and see what the rain would be to my do it it's every six hours uh the dark red is almost three inches the pink is over an inch and then we get to the yellow you get into uh, four inches now this is above three inches this is three inches of rainfall in six hours and then again there's five right there but another three inches of rainfall and each one is six hours of three to five inches of rainfall as this comes in to the panhandle georgia and curves west with so far the rainfall being very heavy accumulation and we're talking over 12 inches just for miami florida so if we look at the wind gusts we see it right on the 13th it'll be late night so far overnight or in the early morning we do get into the 60 miles per hour wind gust as this goes along it starts getting stronger it gets towards 70 as you get into monday then it strengthens to 81 miles per hour wind gusts that is very powerful then it's on still on its strengthening phase at this point and it does strengthen some more it gets up to 82 uh, wind gusts as this passes by uh, cross land you're looking at 50s and 60s it looks like all the wind is going to be on the east uh, east side loaded on this storm then as it goes, it will weaken down. It's still pushing very high wind gusts. It's definitely hurricane strength wind gusts. It's not no cat two. That would be 95. But it does show either a strong, very strong tropical storm to a hurricane passing by with strong winds and very powerful wind gusts. And for Jamaica, so far it's showing northwest Jamaica. We'll see anywhere from an inch to two uh, inches of rainfall within the next five days. But once you go from five days to 10 days out when all these thunderstorms will meet up in the Caribbean and it starts getting really heavy, it starts getting really heavy for you as well. And it shows that anywhere from the southeast of you could get anywhere from four to five inches, which would be another three to four inches more of rainfall or more towards the northwest is showing it would be less for you. So either way, the northwest is going to have continuous rainfall for the next 10 days, but it could be a very sudden heaviness in the central south to the southeast of jamaica so please be aware of your crops do what you need to do you do have a lot of rainfall coming 
Plus, we have Tropical Storm Blanca. It is still sustained winds of 60 miles per hour, 998 millibar pressure, and it is moving west-northwest at 8 knots, which is 9 miles per hour. It will stay a strong tropical storm, and it will go off and be a depression later on by Friday, and it's not going to hurt anybody. It will be leaving. It will not be a hurricane. And as far as the Atlantic, NOAA's not showing anything yet. They're not going to go past their five days, and uh, they're not showing anything. And as far as us, uh, it's actually been trending that we was going to have some energy in the Yucatan right above Cuba and a possibility for multiples uh, ever since May 12th, guys. So we've been looking at this for quite some time. All right, guys. Now, here's an AM 3K for the next 60 hours. So you can see the storms. You do have them in the central U.S. Uh, later on in the afternoon, it'd be in the south or in the early morning. Plus, the Bahamas has some storms, and they have some storms headed towards Florida soon. So, Florida, you need to watch out. You, I know you need some rainfall. You have rainfall coming. Let's praise our Lord this morning, guys. Amen. God bless every single one of you. Hope you have a very, very blessed Tuesday today. Psalm 36. The transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of God before his eyes. For he flattereth himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He hath left off to be wise and to do good. He deviseth mischief upon his bed and sitteth himself in a way that is not good. He abhorreth not evil. Thy mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens, and thy faithfulness reacheth unto the clouds. Thy righteousness is like the great mountains, thy judgments are a great deep. O Lord, thou preservest man and beast. How excellent is thy loving kindness, O God! Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house, and thou shalt make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. For with thee is the fountain of life, and the light shall we see light. O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee, and thy righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, and let not the hand of the wicked remove me. There are the workers of iniquity fallen. They are cast down and shall not be able to rise. Amen. Thank you for visiting my channel today, guys. Do me a favor. Share this video on social media. Help alert others in the Gulf as well as Florida as much as we can. It's beautiful weather outside. Nobody really probably wants to look at a video right about now or hear about bad weather. They need to know that this is still trending from the 12th of May. Thank you again. I do appreciate you for visiting me today. Hit that like on the way out if you don't use social media. That, that helps out a lot as well. Thank you. Thank you. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob. Amen. <laughs> Have a blessed Tuesday.